Hello, everyone. I'm making a presentation under the theme of what is an attractive and sustainable organization for university students. Let me briefly introduce myself firstly. I'm from Chiba University, uh, the Department of Education. I'm a junior student uh, studying at Educational Studies, and I belong to a drama performance society. But for today, I would like to talk about environmental ISO student organization, uh, ISO student committee. That is a student organization that I also take part in. The reason that I started being involved in the committee was simply because I was invited by my friend in the same department. Showing my emotion or motivation at the point by a chart, it will be like this. The larger factor was my friend's invitation. But there was also my desire that I wanted to take part in something new, memorable or meaningful for my future career. In fact, our organization has more than 200 of new students annually. And I would like to emphasize that not every student joins us because of their organizational uh, interest. Um, there are a variety of reasons. Therefore, when you run a large-scale organizational management, I believe it is very significant that you employ many new ideas to attract students, trigger their participation, and through activities, let them realize how it is meaningful or fun to actually engage in environmental activities. Again, the trigger that let me join the organization was a personal invitation, but I asked myself what kept me being involved in the activity. I believe there were three reasons, which are elements also related to uh, attractive and sustainable organizational management. One is diverse participants, students uh, coming from different backgrounds in a different age who are younger or older than me. Chiba University owns more, uh, around 10 departments, and our organization is a larger scale student organization in the university where you have so many of encounters with many other attractive students, ideas, or plans. For the second and third reason, I will explain in details. In a concrete context, what are the unique things students can engage only in this committee? The committee was founded in 2003, and it is consists of seven departments and 18 <coughs> groups. Each of the 18 groups is a fundamental unit for various committee activities, and each department is a component of groups that shares related topics to each other. I'm going to briefly introduce the seven departments. The Department of Landscape Management collected, uh, they, they collect second-hand bicycles from alumni, repair them, and sell them in a reasonable price, or making more than 200 kilograms of compost using dead leaves there's literally everywhere in the campus in some particular season, and distribute them uh, the compost to the local community if they wanted some. Also, there are other projects we do in cooperation with local people. The maintenance of community garden is one of the examples. Actually, this year a big project was going on. The department proposed to the uni for the division of footpath and driveway, which project aims to create a safer road. The Department of College Communication. They make pamphlets in foreign languages in order to encourage and exchange students' awareness of environmental issues. In Chiba University since 2006, the shopping bags has been charged, and this is due to a student proposal. Due to the charge, the more than a million of shopping bags have been suc successfully reduced, and using the creative profit, students created a fund, and through that, many original goods have been sold in discounted price. Additionally, this department made a great contribution on trash separation during the annual college festivals. The Department of Energy Conservation, or Resource Saving, holds annual event on July, or collect all papers for, cycling, uh, for recycling. In short, their, uh, their mission is to cut down the consumption of energy or papers or selling second-hand books in reasonable price, which project has been carried out for long, more than 10 years. Students from the Department of Environmental Education, they visit attached kindergarten or schools and hold various events such as lighting illumination lights using solar energy 
air conditioner field test cleaning or project over books that promoting recycling or sharing books instead of throwing them away or buying new ones. Actually, the commit committee owns a corporation body and various activity as NPO corporation is carried out by students in the department of NPO activity. In cooperation with other NPO students, uh, students hold events over environmental awareness and it has so much to do with people in the outside of college. Department of Information is in charge of publishing magazine or producing pamphlets, fans, goods, or designing other various original goods. Planning section, uh, they create um, a various e uh, events in order to promote the communication or friendship among community members. And there are other roles of the committee is playing. This committee has a special role that we operate practical trainings for the operation of university environment, environment management system. In details, there are internal auditing for environmental laws, examination function for ISO requirements, or creating the accounts for, of each meeting, operating teaching activity for new year guidance session, and so on. Other activities include participation in local events, uh, or exhibition in order to let people know the activities Chiba University has done. Nextly, let me introduce the NPO cooperation activity of the committee, which was also one of the reasons why students choose to be involved in the activities. The NPO was founded in 2009 as an independent corporation with the vision that we would like to return the collected knowledge or know-how we gain through EMS operation back to the local community. Since students are assigned in every role, such as chief director, executives, uh, students can gain a variety of social experience through jobs, such as documentation, the procedure of tax payment, and so on. There are four main business activities that uh, an NPO corporation body is uh, carrying out. Eco Classroom Project is an environmental education project for elementary to middle school students. Project of planning, uh, Planting, it is a maintenance of mountain trees in cooperation with other corporations. The Business of Commentary is a business activity that rewrite and publish commentary for environmentalism related reports published by other universities or laboratories from a third person's point of view. And lastly, in consulting business, we support local small com companies for the acquisition of public certification named Echo Action 21. In summary, there are four things that contribute that attract students and promote their continual participation. Firstly, the opportunity where students can act independently. We have a well-prepared working environment where students can be involved in various activities in the local community or in campus. And a notable reason is because the Students' Committee is not merely an academic society, but a public community, a committee belonging to the organization of university. Every time we plan something new, we write planning papers and gain the approval of the university for start uh, launching a new activity. Th thus, this is a flow that students are required to act independently with a sense of responsibility. And since the committee exists inside the university, a big number of students have been involved in from various different, uh, different departments. Finally, the management satisfies the needs of students, launching new projects in cooperation with corporations, learning business manners, making a presentation in front of a big number of audience. Having these kind of opportunities, learning these things have a significant meaning for students, and I'm sure it will be a great help of my life after graduation. That's it for today. Thank you very much for listening.